Rainbow Robot Blur. Okay, so that's our new Soul Sword. All right, the Soul Sword. Okay, and I believe we are now done with textures, so we can move on to testing. Oh, we actually have to move the textures into where they go. <laughs> okay, so we made all of these assets, all of these textures ourselves. So we're going to put it in fanvermodded at 189mine.zip. These are the ones I created. These are the ones that came with some version of fanver. Um, open with archive manager. There we go. In the assets directory. And in this assets directory, we now have a directory called Solstars TOW. And we just drag that into here. And it should be in there now. There it is, Solstars TOW. Excellent. And then we can just delete all the files that we made from the disk so they don't confuse Minecraft. If we desperately need to get them back, they are in the trash where we can find them. Okay, let's get minimize all of those and let us go ahead and play this new version of Robot Rainbow with Soul Shards the old ways added. Okay, single player. Uh, back to test Twitch world. Okay, so it's night outside, is that right? And we don't have any diamonds yet. That's right. We've got that pump out there, pumping oil. Working on that oil. Now, I've also added Ender IO since I played this before, uh, which means. Uh, that uh, we have some tanks now, some movable tanks, which is cool. There's a zombie down here somewhere. Okay, so what was this? Oh, I remember this. I haven't played this world since I was last on Twitch. So that was where I was getting lava. There's a door there because it was dangerous. There was like a tunnel related to it or something. Okay, but we want to get diamonds, so we're just going to have to mine a bunch, I guess. Sorry about this being the boring part. I could just cheat and give myself diamonds. I could do that. You're right. But I'm not going to. Part of the point of testing mods is to make sure that you can actually do them the way you're supposed to be able to without going into creative mode. Uh, and the way that I would definitely make a mistake is accidentally give myself something that I can't actually get or something like that. It also gives me an idea of how hard the mods are, so if there needs to be any balancing, if some recipes make it far too easy to progress using one mod rather than another, then maybe I want to make those recipes a little harder, something like that. also have in here a mod called Alchemy Craft, which does allow you to rather quickly and easily get some of the harder to get materials. I think it's one that I may have to make a little harder when I finish the mod pack, but I haven't done it yet, so we can still use it to our advantage. We're going to double more ores. It's like we were doubling some tin, but what we want to double is the iron. So we'll throw the iron in here. There we go, 16 iron dust. That'll go a ways. I'm just trying to figure out whether it's going to take me longer to find diamonds 
than it is to just use this lava to make a nether portal and go to the nether. There we go. Okay, now we got some armor. We can go out and fight some mobs. We also have any food? It'd be very useful to have food. We've got rotten flesh, that's right. I think we were low on food. That was a problem before, wasn't it? Let's go and see if it's daytime and see what we can figure out about food. Don't have tinkers, so you can't dry it. I don't don't think the one in that version of tinkers even has the drying rack. But it's daytime, so hey. And we have crops. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest some crops then, and then we'll have some food. Okay, bread. Yay, so we're ready to go killing stuff. And of course, it is nice, bright, and daytime, and we can't really go kill anything at the moment. Let's go have a look at our oil here. We've got a lot of oil. If only we had four more extra diamonds, we could refine this oil. Nah. We're gonna mess with the map settings. Options, radar, show, rando mobs on. I don't know what that means. Show neutrals on. There we go. So now it should show us where there are chickens. Show me some chickens. Are there chickens in the savannah? Yes, there are chickens in the savannah. Okay, cool. Let's get some chickens. Also, a big water spill there for some reason. We'll also, get us some food. I care a little less about killing things for food. In a test world, try not to do it much. Normally, just don't want to get in the habit of just killing stuff for survival all the time. There's one more chicken. There he is. Oh, and I got an egg too. So I don't have room for the egg. Hello, zombie. <laughs> Drop nothing. That's okay. We don't have room in our inventory for anything. So we need, at the very least, to mine some more iron. But right now it's night, and it's ideal monster hunting time. So we're gonna go monster hunting. See if we can pick up some soul. What are they called? Soul, spirit fragments. That's what we want. Where are the monsters at? Hmm? I'm looking for monsters. Please don't tell me there are no monsters. There are always monsters at night, except apparently when I need them. It's even the darkest night of the month. There we go. There are some monsters. So over here is a skeleton. I, well, I'll get bones at least for skeletons. Get anything neat? No. Nothing at all. Creeper. Oh, well, I'm better. Better fight the creeper. I don't want him coming upon me later. No. I did not successfully fight the creeper. I should have tried it on level ground. I was trying to hop backwards, upwards, and it did not work very well. Oh, sounds like a zombie's found me. Hello, zombie. Oh, another creeper found me, too. Good thing I have armor. Okay, it doesn't look like that creeper is getting anywhere close to me, but I should probably fill in this hole a little bit so I don't end up falling in it in the future. Okay, there we go. That's not a horrible hole anymore. Hello, spider. Oh, 
Hey, he got a soul. Now I just have to keep the creeper from blowing it up. Damn it. But he didn't blow it up. I managed to lure him away first. So that, at least, is good. Even though, now we have yet another hole here. This plane's gonna be full of holes before we're done if we keep being so bad at fighting creepers. Spirit fragment from him. More spirit fragments, excellent. We're gonna need quite a few of these actually, so it's good. We're getting some. Now there's a witch over there. I better, better avoid the heck out of the witch. Boy, oh, I, I just can't can't catch up with the creepers fast enough, and I usually am pretty good at it. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just not reversing crack fast enough? I don't know. Okay, so we're avoiding the witch. There's a spider here. Oh, the spider. Looks like the witch is actually directly on the way home, so we'll have to skirt a little around the way we were going to go home. Hello, spider. Hello, spider. Do spiders have souls? Not that spider. Spirits. Sorry, do spiders have spirits? That one did. That looks like an Enderman. I don't know that I'm ready for an Enderman. Let's make sure we've gotten rid of everything else before we aggro the Enderman. Okay, and I think probably this skeleton is here, just to say. And this zombie. And this. Oh! God damn. Where was it even? Too many monsters to keep track of. I think I didn't aggro the Enderman. Okay, there's another one. This way, is he coming towards me? Yes, he is. I should think before he gets to me. Oh, my sword's almost dead. I want to be fighting Enderman today, then. Tonight, I suppose. Unless I have no choice whatsoever. Instead, I need to head back home. Boy, there are a lot of monsters between me and home. I think I'm gonna run because this sword is about to die. In! Thank you. Okay, need to make a new sword. I don't think that they drop soul shards if they just die from, like, being burned by the sun. Oh! Dang, nab it. Invisible creepers. I seem to remember my, my wife actually had me change the texture for creepers in our mod pack. She was having a hard time seeing them. And I think I might not have actually done that in this texture pack yet. So that'll be something something for sure that I need to do before we get too much further. Yeah, that's a lot of spiders. I got hit by them once, which is kind of surprising with that many spiders. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. And there's a zombie over this way. And another spider. Click furiously. Okay, I guess I'm gonna in the water with them. That's my better judgment. Okay. There we go. That was a successful night. Monster hunting. And we have... Oh, wow, we have a lot of bones. We can make a lot of bread. Cool. So we'll be mining for iron. Salt would be nice too, so it would be a very convenient find. What? Where did you come from? 
I was mining soul shards up above and I could have been doing it here. Bet he spawned in here. Yeah, look at that. That might be some salt ore there, actually. Is that salt ore? Yeah! Okay, nice. Now that I've got some salt ore, we can also start turning our zombie flesh into ham. <laughs> I think perhaps... it's That's from the German mod, um, from Steam Engines. And I think perhaps the word in German, Schinken, is a little more multi-purpose than ham is. Ham, in American English, almost always means from a pig. Um, I, in fact, I think it does always mean from a pig. Hey, there's some iron. Um, but you can make ham, you can make shinken from zombie flesh, you can make it from chicken. I think it's probably just a generic term for like salted cured meat. So we've got some iron, which we want to double in the steam mill. And we've got some salt. Yeah, so we want to make a double furnace. Um, which is crafted using a furnace and a bunch more cobblestone, like so. Now we have a double furnace, and in that we can combine all of our rotten flesh with salt to make ham. <laughs> Hey, we got some ham. I think we want to wait until we have enough to make some more ham. Okay, there we go. Now we can make two buckets. There we go, two buckets. One of these buckets we fill with water. Other bucket we fill with lava. Like so. And then we can create the lava bucket spirit fragment, feather, some dirt, and the other bucket of water. Did I remember that right? No. Maybe the feather goes there and the dirt goes there. No. Nope. Maybe the lava goes there and the water goes there. Okay, I'll look it up. <laughs> okay. Feathers in the upper right, lava's in the upper left. Oh, dang it. Okay. Feather is in the upper right, lava is in the upper left. Dirt is there, water bucket is there, spirit essence well. Not spirit well, essence well. Okay. So what? Oh, that's right. Weird. Somehow used all my dirt or something. Not sure how that works out. Okay, so we place the essence well. Let's say it's there. And the only thing you can do with the spirit fragments now is put them in the essence well. There we go. We've got 10 ether. With dirt, we can get uh, mundus. Okay, so what were we going to make again? We still need lapis. Okay, and that we can make with magicis and mundus. Okay. It's possible that if we went to the nether, we might be able to find a diamond more easily. Just because it's an open cave world. We can just look for it everywhere. And also just die, you know. Like that happens a lot in the nether as well.
Okay, there we go. That's that's a more reasonable amount of stuff in our inventory. Oh, I was gonna try and make a bed, that's right. Beds should go upstairs, it's where it's most useful. Okay, we need six twelve string to make a bed. There we go. Now that's one thing we can use the wisps for. Did they end up here? No, I planted them, but that's alright. We've got other dye flowers here. Uh, because of the steam engines mod, all beds are dyed. I mean, if you just make a default bed, and it comes out white. Uh, I don't like the look of the white bed, so I'm going to make a red bed. Um, and I, oh, I think I need to actually color the wool first, so I'm going to need that much. There we go. That should allow me to make a red bed. With the wool and the rose red, we get three red wool, three red wool, and three oak planks makes a red bed. Yay, which is exactly what the default bed normally looks like. <laughs> Hey, Diamond! Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.